What is up you guys? It's your girl Alexa takes a look and today I'm back and as I said before we are going to be taking a look at the episode that I kind of missed. I don't know it's kind of like it's there but it's not in like the first spot. So we're looking at episode zero. Uh, it's called Ghost. Three missing members revealed of SB19 story from our dearest casual Chuck. Um, so I'm very excited. Uh, I don't know what three missing members revealed means. I don't know if these are people who are supposed to be in SB19 or who are integral to SB19, who are not officially in us. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to take a look at it. As always, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'm assuming, though, that most of y'all have, but just in case. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. All right, we got it pulled up. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're finishing out the SB19 story. Disclaimer, this video is only based on my personal research. I might miss some details and it's possible to have discrepancies, but I did my best to get as much accurate information as possible, so enjoy. Some people called me out because I credited the Go Up dance choreography to Stell and Ken. They wanted me to only credit Stell. Well, guess what? I was wrong. Because it was all of them who choreographed it. It was a team effort. Now that we're past that, let's get into the video. This is the timeline that most of us know. A timeline that we managed to stitch together using the information we found on the web. The internet is a vast universe. It is so big that there are still tons of information that are just hidden in plain sight. And some of them are just waiting to be discovered. Well, I'm very curious. There's so much mystery. What if I told you that Pablo, Stell, Josh, and Justin almost debuted with three other guys in 2017? Would you believe me? That sounds like me. <laughs> Did Still just belt the entire bridge? Damn. Their group surely looked and sounded promising, but what exactly happened to the three other guys? Before we even became uh, SP19, as a group, as a group po, um, actually, she still na iwan siya. She still and just didn't actually. Kung baga, lahat kami na quit na, pumalik lang kami dahil na parang the word quit has a negative connotation, but we have to understand that there are a lot of things going on behind that decision. A good example is the lack of financial income because they didn't even have a salary to begin with. And I'm sure that there are many other valid reasons. Imagine doing the same judge. thing over and over and over again for more than two years. I can only imagine their state of mind during those times. So let's address the elephant in the room. Who are these guys? And where in the world are they now? Wait, hold on. What did I just see? <laughs> we go I gloss over that truck. We go gloss over that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the Who elephant. Are these guys. What is going on? Where in the world? What? 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 Hold on. <laughs> Who are these guys? Is that a cat? What is going on here? Somebody explain this to me. I mean, that's a beautiful cat, but what is going on here? Hmm? 
please tell more tell me please what is this what is happening what is going on and where in the world are they now Do you recognize this guy? Yes, I do. I'm I not recognize them. About pipes. Shirtless style, you guys. Oh. I'm talking about this guy. <laughs> My bad. He was to be the group's bass vocalist. After training with Show BT, he moved on by running a K pop reaction channel on YouTube. He also works as a freelance videographer and is now actively supporting his presidential candidate. He also made an appearance in the emotionally charged video greeting for SB19 in their Our Zone concert. Oh my God, oh. After a few test runs, they revamped the group to join the 2017 Pinoy K pop star. This is when the prototype team was formed. We are for whatever reason, Rafa was replaced They're by so this guy, young. Zeno. children you get that away from me they did not win in the competition after Zeno's stint with show bt he became a member of the og roster of the k-pop cover group called zero to hero and speaking of og members it just so happened that c13 of vision was part of it as well i love this song it's so mind-blowing how interconnected our idols lives were and i'm not even done yet during my research, I stumbled upon this clip with C13 and Josh on the same stage. Just a fair warning, what you're about to see will slightly break your heart. Ooh, absolutely not. Ah, what I also saw C13 flip? getting tired mm -hmm. of his clothes. <laughs> anyway, when C13 left the country to work in the US, the remaining Zero to Hero members decided to debut as a P-pop group. Okay. I'm sure most of you didn't know this, but their debut wasn't a success, so they were forced to back out. That's a After good the song, setback, though. I like Zeno that. got into modeling and also pursued his interest in freelance videography. In the present day, he lives his life privately with a little mix of dancing from time to time. Bato, bato. While all of these things are happening, our boy Ken has been wreaking havoc in the K-pop dance cover world with his group GA7. A forewarning check next time. Ghost, is that because I'm going to become a ghost? And Amigo7. K-pop cover groups like really popular. Sheesh. Ooh, that is a spider. The next one I'm gonna talk about is Hold this on, guy, please. Kurt. Must... Not gonna lie, I sometimes mistook him for Justin because they have a similar frame. Even before his trainee days, he was already a member <laughs> well, of Sayon to together with Stell. You will not be attacking me or my pooches or my kitty today, little spider. I hope I killed you. 
I'm so sorry. But like when I see a bug, I'm like on it because I have a little baby kitten and I have two cute baby pooches and I do not want them being bitten. And I have a little one, a little baby pooch who uh, loves to eat bugs and I don't want her to get sick if it is poisonous. So, okay. Anyways, 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 back. And Josh. After training with Show BT, he moved on by teaching dance to students and continued like performing with his K-pop cover group called Principium. You can check out their YouTube channel. They still make some awesome K-pop dance covers to this day. Kurt presently works as an animator and a digital painter as well. It wasn't only Pablo who stood there to watch the whole duration of PHP's rehearsal. There was also Stell, Josh, and Justin. It's because they were brothers. The last guy who almost became SB19 happens to be a member of PHP now, and that is JP. This guy along with Charles and Yukito were Pablo's mentors because he was the youngest among their PHP dance cover group. They were instrumental in what yeah. Pablo has become. The boys also trained in show BT together only to see their closest brothers to not make it. This specific moment is very special because we just witnessed the full circle. From Pablo being the youngest to becoming the leader of SB19. From seeing his brother struggle so hard to finally seeing their success. In our lives, there can be moments when you feel like it's easier to give up. Heck, some people in this video even gave up at one point, but they came right back with a different perspective. Their past didn't break them, it built them. Yukito was in fact the leader of Zero to Hero that failed in their debut, but that didn't stop him. He came back with a different game plan together with his brothers who also failed with him in the past and look at where they are now. So if you're watching this video and you are going through tough times, change your perspective. Thank the person who broke up with you because it gave you the opportunity to meet someone better in your life. Oh. Thank your boss for Shut. firing you because you it gave you from? the opportunity to explore entrepreneurship. Thank your haters because life would be boring without them. Don't be bitter. Be better. Always choose to be kind. Mm. If you don't do that, you'll just end up as a mere ghost in the past. Alright, that brings us to the close of the SB19 story and what a journey it has been. I will say this though, because Chuck did bring up something very important about quitting. Like sometimes it's okay to quit. Quit can quitting can be seen as something very negative. But you know the good old saying: you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away. Sometimes you got to quit. Sometimes you have to go. Sometimes you don't ever come back, and that's okay. You are the only one who knows what's best for you. And as long as you are thinking about it logically, like. Not even just logically, because you want to think about it from all different sides. Logically, emotionally, spiritually, what is going to be best for you. And you make that decision that that is what's best for you, then that's okay. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just how I feel. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's super interesting um, in terms of how all of these people are in interconnected. And how SB19 has come so far from where they were to where they are now in 
a relatively short amount of time is is it's it's very interesting it's mind-boggling it's it's it tests to do their hard work and yeah i don't know it's what a life you know like i just think about it like i personally don't think i could do something like that not only am i like super untalented <laughs> but also just i don't know it's not for me but then again some people look at aspects of my life being in a phd program and that also takes a lot of work and a lot of years of my life <laughs> and could look at that and say that's not for me either but you know I don't know it's, it's we all got our own journeys we all have to figure them out we all have to decide what's best for us and we just keep on keeping on and just like you like you said you know don't be better be better be kind you do you you do you boo that's like my favorite thing anyways but we are going to continue on with more SB19. Since we are done with SB19 story, I still have a lot of requests from you guys, but uh, just refresh my memory below if there is anything in particular that you guys are wanting to see. If I find that there's a certain comment of content that's being repeated over and over again, that just might be what we do next week. But that is it for now. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share whatever the cool YouTubers say. It's your girl Alexa takes a look, and I'm bouncing out. Bye!